I'm going to look at the chart for Paramahansa Yogananda, uh, born January 5th, 1883, um, at uh, 8.38 p.m. in Gokhpur, Uttar Pradesh, India. If we looked at the eastern horizon when he was born, we would see the constellation of Leo rising at 8 degrees and 53 minutes, which becomes the most effective point of every house. Um, for the Leo chart, we want to see what are the, how the planets are operating and, and when they're operating and what we can do to fix the chart. So most of the Leo planets are benefic. We want to see if there's any Multicona signs in the 6th, 8th, or 12th house. Here we find in the 12th house, with the, these are the challenging houses, the four sign Cancer ruled by Moon. Moon becomes functional malefic for Leo rising sign, as well as Rahu and K2. So let's see how the planets are operating. Uh, his sun is at 22 degrees. Uh, it's ruling the first house of life purpose and it's in this house of education. So his, his life purpose is to lead or uh, as, as a leader, as a teacher. Um, Moon is at eight degrees, uh, ruling this 12th house of spiritual growth. Moon is, is public. It's in the fourth house of happiness. So it says he could have happiness through teaching spiritual knowledge. Now, because it's functional malefic it, and it's at the same, uh, at the most effective point, it afflicts this house of family and it afflicts the house of career. So he had some ups and downs to his career and it limits his family. He had no wife or children. Mars is at 15 degrees. It's ruling the house of good fortune and spiritual teaching. It's in the house of education. And Mars gives ambition to teach spiritual knowledge. Mercury is at four degrees, uh, slightly close to the most effective point. And it is ruling the uh, house of recognition and wealth. And, and, and it's in the house of health and healing. So he uh, and Mercury has to do with communication, writing, publishing, speaking. So it says that he gained recognition through his writing, speaking, publishing, um, and helped to heal humanity, the sorrows of humanity. Jupiter is at one degree in infancy. So any planet that's less than five degrees becomes weak. Uh, it is ruling the fifth house of education and children and investments, and it is placed in the house of income. Jupiter is the teacher. So it says that he can gain income through spiritual teaching, and it limits uh, wife and children. He had no wife and children. Venus is at 16 degrees. It's ruling this uh, third house of communication, entrepreneurial success. And Venus has to do with Vedic knowledge, spiritual knowledge. And uh, it is in this house of happiness and family. So it says he can have happiness through teaching Vedic knowledge. Saturn is at four degrees, just slightly weak. It's out in the house of good fortune, ruling the house of partnerships, relationships, and comforts living abroad. Saturn means leader of the masses. And so he says he can it's in this house of teaching. He can teach Vedic knowledge in foreign lands. Rahu is at 26 degrees and K2 is at 26 degrees. 
one, two, three, four. They, they afflict five, seven, and nine houses away. They're not close to the rising sign degree. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it does afflict the sun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, oh, so wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it afflicts sun. And Kate, uh, Rahu afflicts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Saturn, eight, nine. So they afflict Saturn. So they they don't they're not causing much trouble because they're not close to the rising sign degree. They just slightly impact Saturn. Uh, can give some uh, some issues with teeth, neck, back, bones. He did have some some issues there, and um, his leadership had some ups and downs to it. There was a point where someone he was um, teaching with took away part of his um, group to do something different. Uh, let's look at when the planets were operating, the Dasha periods. He was born in a Saturn um, Dasha period, which is Saturn becomes the root of his tree of life. Whenever Dasha period you're born into becomes the root of your tree of life. And so uh, he was born to lead the masses. He met his guru and, uh, and was initiated in 1915 in a K2 period, the very for spiritual growth period. He moved to the United States of America in... Uh, to uh, 1920, uh, and also he established his um, spiritual regeneration movement in 1925. Had a mystical experience um, in 1936. These are during all during Venus period, Vedic knowledge period. He published his first book. Autobiography of a Yogi in uh, 1945 during a moon period. Uh, moon, again, spiritual knowledge. Um, and then he passed away in 1952 during a... He actually left the body uh, in 1952 during a moon K2 period. So he, in enlightenment, left left his body. Um, what can we do? So uh, Rahu uh, is desire. Uh, it's in this house of communication, desire to communicate uh, spiritual knowledge. K2 is in this house of good fortune and spiritual knowledge, give insights into teaching spiritual knowledge. Um, so we want to strengthen his weak planets uh, by doing, uh, listening to certain chants, um, you could wear a kavash as well, um, and we want to transform his functional malefics, which is Moon, Rahu, and K2, um, by helping uh, charities and listening to certain chants, all of which he did. So he had a very powerful chart for teaching spiritual knowledge. And those are the details for the chart for Paramahansa Yogananda.